You've gone through the process of logging into MSDN AA and downloading some software. Now what? How do you start to use this software? If you've gone through the first process, then you've downloaded one of these installers for the software product that you've chosen. In this case, I chose Expression Blend. The first step is to actually download the bits and bytes of Expression Blend. I've already done that. And now I can come back to the installer, which I've located in this Academic Alliance folder. I can double click on the installer and choose Run. It's asking me now, I've previously downloaded Expression Blend, and would I like to go ahead and use the bits that I've downloaded? So I'm going to click Yes to view the contents of that folder. When I downloaded Expression Blend, it's located here. I put mine in CTemp. What did I actually get? I got a CD ISO image. An ISO image is basically the image that would be located on a physical media. So it's what's actually burned on top of a CD or a DVD. And in my case, you can see I have this CD. In order to use this software, I need to either burn a CD and then install from that CD, or I need to mount the CD as though I had burned it onto a CD. In the MSDN AA Access Guide, it explains how to mount ISO images and how to find software to enable you to mount ISO images. Let's examine using the Daemon Tools link in this guide. Here's the Daemon Tools website. So we're going to go ahead and click on Daemon Tools. And if you have a 32-bit system, then you'll click here on this Tools Light X86. For me, this doesn't render extremely well in my browser, so I have to actually scroll over to the right to find some of these links. And in order to do the download, it's actually over here on the right-hand side, Download. I'm going to go ahead and run this application. I skipped the actual installation of Daemon Tools because it's fairly intuitive once you navigate the website. When Daemon Tools starts up, we'd like to mount the ISO image that we downloaded using the Mount and Drive Manager. I'll double click on Device 0 and navigate to this ISO image that I've downloaded. The application will then act as though I've inserted this as a CD into my system. So it attempts to play the autoplay functionality of this CD. In this case, autoplay would have done run blend install. So that's what I'm going to choose. This is going to pull up the HTML page associated uh, with Expression Blend. I'm not sure why I didn't actually get the images for this page, but we can see if we click on these that these options are Vista here on the left, or XP here on the right. So I'm going to choose Windows Vista, and then I'm going to choose Install Expression Blend. After choosing Install Expression Blend, it should pull up a window with a file download, and I'm actually going to go ahead and run this installer package. Installing may take a few minutes, so I will bring you back in once we've actually installed this application. When I've finished installing Expression Blend, this is the menu that I get, so I'll click Finish. Let's go ahead to the Windows Vista menu. And we'll navigate. You can see that I have installed something new under Microsoft Expression. And it's Microsoft Expression Blend. When I start Expression Blend, I now need to go in and enter my license key. I'm going to close this first menu. I'll navigate to the Help menu 
and select Enter Product Key. I'll choose I have a product key and want to, I want to license Microsoft Expression Blend. Now I need to enter the product key from the Academic Alliance subscription. If you're anything like me, you didn't write down that huge number. So we need to go back to the website and locate the product key. Here's my MSDN AA front end. I again need to log in. When I log in, I can scroll down and see the products. I'm going to choose Download for Expression Blend. And here's the serial number that we saw before. This is going to be my product key. I'll highlight and copy that number. Let's return to Expression Blend and paste our product key and choose continue. Finally, once I've licensed the product, I should get a message, thanks for licensing this product. And we'll click OK.